Hey everyone, welcome back to a day three of a 10 day hip mobility challenge. If you haven't met Loopy yet, this is Loopy. Today I will share some movements standing and some movements on the ground. As before, you will only need yourself and your yoga mat. Perhaps this time you could also grab a little pillow or something to put underneath your knees. It might feel nicer, especially if your floor is quite hard. So without further ado, once you are ready, let's meet in a standing position. So yesterday we did open rotations, hip rotations, and today we will do closed rotations. So basically when we focus on the hip joint of the leg on which we are standing. So it will make sense once we start doing it. So let's say, let's start with the left foot down. The right leg can be bent or whatever, whatever is comfortable for you. Let's focus on the left hip joint. So on the leg we are standing. Imagine that now you want to make rotations with this hip joint. So how do we do that? Perhaps first you lean forward and then you twist to the right and then you come back and twist, twist back into the center. And again, you lean forward, you lean to the side and then imagine what's happening in your hip joint. So the ball and socket, so like a tennis ball in a plate, what's happening over there, the movement. So we are doing these controlled rotations. So these closed chain rotations for me personally, feel harder than the, when we just move a leg like that in the air. But they are quite interesting to explore. So we are also working again on our ankle at the same time. And then we swap same hip joint, just the other way. So perhaps then we twist to the side, then we lean forward then our chest is facing to the ground and we lift back up. Let's try a few more times to the side and it's okay to fall out, slowly come back to it. A tip is to spread the toes wide so we have a good support with our foot. So twist to the right, go down parallel to the ground, your chest, lift back up. Let's do one more time, twist to the side, go down, Parallel, lift back up. Okay, you can bring the left foot back to massage for a little bit. And then let's focus on the right leg. So right foot down, right toes are spreading wide. And again, we focus on the right hip joint. So on the leg that we are standing on. Left leg can do whatever, whatever is comfortable for you to do these controlled rotations on the standing leg. So we move forward as if you go, if you practice yoga into warrior three, more or less, then we twist to the left. So as if we are in a half moon and then we come back and then we twist back into the center. Forward to the side, lift, come back. Few more. If you want extra challenge, you know, as we did before on the day two, you can come onto your tiptoes. This will be extra, extra hard. And another option is to close the eyes if you want extra challenge. But I think this is already quite challenging. We try to do the rotations quite big, very controlled, so mindful. And then at the same time, we have to balance on the foot on which we are standing. Okay, now let's go the other way. Same right hip joint. So twist, but again, this move twist doesn't come from my spine. It comes from my hip joint. So I twist and then I lean parallel, come back up and it's okay to wobble. It's okay to hold yourself on, on the ground, on the, on the wall, whatever you have nearby, chair, dog, twist go, twist, come back. Let's do one more. And now the last rotation, which I did wasn't very smooth. So what we also try is like to do the smooth rotations. So it's almost like this circle and there are no like sharp corners, if that makes sense. Okay, shake both of your legs. 
Okay, now your feet can be hip distance apart or together, you decide. We will meet in the kneeling position. So make your way down, but perhaps a suggestion, you can slide your hands down, then bend your knees, lower the knees down, lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes. And then we tuck the toes under so there is a massage on the feet as well, uh, or a stretch on the feet. Sit back down, lift the knees, lower the heels maybe or go the direction towards and then lift yourself back up. Let's continue. Down, almost in yoga posture it would be like a, like a tabletop straight back. And then we bend the knees, knees down, squeeze the glutes and continue. Let's do a few more like that. So supporting yourself with your hands or without support, if you want to playfully challenge yourself. Let's do one more, down, bend, tap, squeeze the glutes, come back into the more or less squat position and then pistol squat, right leg extend, hold, maybe support yourself. The more you lean back with your hands, the easier it will be. So you decide how much you want to challenge yourself today. Every day is different. And then swap sides, the other leg. Swap sides. Swap sides. And now we hold this one slightly longer because at first we held the right leg slightly longer. Take an inhalation through the nose, gentle breath in. Exhale, bend, forward fold, extend the legs and forward fold. You can bend the legs so as if you're walking in your forward fold. And then let's meet in a squat position one more time. Okay, now we will meet in a dragon pose. So bring your left leg forward to the left side of your yoga mat. And then right leg goes down, back behind you. You can lower the right knee down or an option is to keep the right knee up. Lower the hands down. Now an option is to stay here or if you'd like extra challenge, extend your arms forward. Stay on the tiptoes and then over here also try to keep your legs really active. So at the same time you maybe even lift your bum slightly up so the legs are really active. Stay here, breath in, breath out, one more, breath in, breath out, last one, inhale, slowly through the nose, exhale. Now bring the hands underneath the shoulders, lower the right knee down, untuck the toes, and then we will start to extend the front leg, so into the half splits, and then bend it. Perhaps you want to move your left foot more into the middle of your yoga mat, so not so much on the left side. And an option is maybe you keep the hands on the ground or maybe you keep hands in the air, so arms in the air and you extend the left leg and then you bend it. Extend it and bend it. <laughs> Lupi is just sleeping here. Bend it. And I forgot to say that over here it might be quite nice to have something soft, soft underneath your knees. So you're always checking in with the body, like what your body needs in this situation. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, let's do a few more. Extend. And when you extend, flex the left foot. Let's stay here for a moment. You can keep your hips straight in line, flex your left foot and now push the left heel down into the mat. Really push it down and also as if you'd like to wrinkle your yoga mat so the left heel wants to go toward your right knee and your right knee wants to go forward so there are these like two forces going and then this way we can activate the legs, hopefully slightly more. So. Try to squeeze them together, but at the same time, nothing moves. Take an inhalation through the nose. And then on the exhalation, come back into the dragon. 
and then this time we will bend the right leg, lower the right knee down, flex the right foot, so the back foot, and then imagine that you're squeezing imaginary object between your right sit bone and your right heel. So squeeze the imaginary object and then extend the right, right leg. Continue, squeeze and then extend. A few more, squeeze, extend. Again, continue to breathe, calm inhalations through the nose. Let's do one more. Squeeze uh, like a balloon in between your heel, your sit bone. Squeeze more, squeeze more. So the more you squeeze, the harder it will be. So you decide on the intensity, squeeze more, inhale. And on the exhalation, let's meet in a downward looking dog. So spread your fingers wide and bring the left leg back behind you. Downward looking dog. Over here, imagine you want to stretch your armpits and maybe walk in your downward looking dog by bending one leg, bending the other, moving the hips to one side, to the other. And then we go to the other side. Lupi, I will have to move you slightly forward. Yes. So we go on the dragon on the other side. So right foot goes to the right side of your mat. Left knee shuffles back. So quite often we keep left knee quite close and it's not a problem. It's not like a mistake or anything, but this time try to shuffle your left knee even more back. And here an invitation to put the left knee underneath your uh, pillow or something soft if your ground is hard. It might feel nicer. So a few options. Perhaps you stay here. Invitation to use the blocks for support or to make your arms longer so it's easier to reach the ground. Or another invitation is to lift the back knee, so left knee up, and then extend the arms forward come on your fingertips so it's slightly more intense and then try not to collapse completely with your pelvis but try to lift your pelvis slightly more so the right leg is engaged and left leg is strong as well and stay here for a few moments come back to your breath feel the inhalations feel the exhalations One more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale through the nose and then on the exhalation lower the left knee down and then extend the front leg, so right leg and then bend it. A few options, maybe you keep the arms on the ground or you keep the arms in the air, you decide and then we bend the right leg. I forgot to say that perhaps you want to move the right foot more into the center. So again, you adjust, both are correct. No right or wrong, I always say. So you bend and then you extend. And then in the half splits, if you want to feel it more in the back of your legs, so tilt your pelvis forward, try to elongate your spine. And then as if with your belly, you want to go toward your thighs. And a few more like that, moving on your own rhythm. So over here, the pillow underneath the left knee, back knee might feel quite nice because it's quite hard, the floor. So it doesn't feel super nice. Let's do two more, extend and bend. Extend and bend the next time you extend your front leg, stay there, flex your right foot and then same what we did before, push the right heel down. So imagine that you really want to push to the ground and then at the same time we want almost to like wrinkle the yoga mat underneath. So the right heel pushes down and at the same time almost like back and then the left knee wants to go forward. So these two directions and then we keep the legs really active, we breathe. So breathing calmly through the nose, check your breath if you're not 
Breathing very fast through the mouth. Come back to your breath, calm breaths. And at the same time, squeeze more, inhale. Exhale, one more inhale. And on the exhalation, bend the right leg, front leg. And perhaps now again, you want to open the right foot more to the right side. And then we bend the back leg, squeezing the balloon imaginary object. And then we extend. And continue to go through this movement, bending, extending, and at the same time, exploring what's happening. What sensations can you notice in your body when you bend the back leg, when you extend? So getting to know our body through the movement. Okay, I think it's two more, I lost the count. Last one, squeeze. And the next time you squeeze, let's stay here and squeeze more. Imagine you are squeezing this balloon, you almost want to like pop it. So you squeeze it as much as you can. Breathe, squeeze more and more. Squeeze more, inhale, exhale, squeeze more, inhale. And on the exhalation, let's meet in a downward looking dog. Bring your right leg back, downward looking dog. Maybe exploring the stillness or bending one knee, bending the other. And then let's meet in a child's pose. Knees can go as wide as your mat. Extend your arms forward, sit back onto your heels. And over here, let's just take a few moments to come back again to the breath. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose. One last breath over here. Inhale and exhale. Lift yourself up slowly. Okay, so we are finished with the day three of our hip mobility challenge. So super good job. Thank you so much for being here, for doing the challenge. Let me know down in the comments below how it is going so far. If, for example, you would like more intense and more challenging, what I recommend to do is to pause a video and do the specific movement for slightly longer in case it wasn't challenging enough. Or the other way around, if it was too challenging, you could also try to do the variation that is slightly easier for you. So for example, when we lift the knee up, so perhaps you keep the knee down and just simply listening to the body, what your body is needing right now. So thank you so much for being here once again, and I will see you tomorrow, or better to say, you will see me tomorrow for a day four of our hip mobility challenge. A little sneak peek to the tomorrow positions, movements that we will do all of them on the ground. So see you tomorrow for a day four.